Welcome back to Incredible Basements. I'm Mike Rowe. You know, most of us, from time to time, long to, to relive the past. Few of us, though, can actually recreate it. Our next basement is going to take you back in time to a place that existed at the end of the 19th century. We're talking about 1895. This homeowner has taken the good old days and brought them back to life, literally. The story begins on a summer day in 1947 when a nine-year-old John Scapes walked into Chicago's Museum of Science and Industry. He saw this life-size exhibit called Yesterday's Main Street, and the memory of its magic stayed with him for decades. And then one day, in this two-story colonial house in a Chicago suburb, John decided he could recreate his memory of the past in the 26 by 46 foot basement. It's his hobby, his passion, and his realization of a dream. I remember people telling me that life is what you make it. And so I said, you know, it's not going to happen unless you do it. Can't wish it. You know, the world can go by on your wishes. You got to make it happen. And that's what I've done. He's been at it 30 years. It's been a personal, hands-on project all the way. I felt I could do it with my own two hands. I could make this. He's built an old-fashioned main street with storefronts that line the walls of the basement. It captures a moment in time between 1895 and 1900. The barbershop scene here is really dedicated to my father. That picture was taken from a smaller photograph of my father's barbershop. My father is the second one from the left, and maybe you can see the resemblance. The windows of the millinery store have family heirlooms, too. Some of them belong to John's wife, Diane. On my side of the millinery, I have my Wanda walking doll. There's pictures of my grandmother. There is a Lionel engine in there that my dad bought for me when I was about eight months old. But it was mine, you see. <laughs> there are other businesses to visit as well. There's a bicycle shop and a saloon where you can get a drink. And here's the latest business to set up shop. This is my new addition, the photo art studio. Gives me an opportunity to go ahead and display all the old photographs of my family history. It's quite an elaborate project down here in the basement. And what did his family think about it? My thoughts about his Main Street idea was, actually I told him he was goofy. <laughs> my wife probably thought I was a little nuts. But I think after the first couple of storefronts went up, she started to see what I was able to do. It was probably during my early teens where I uh, remember kind of playing down here and it was halfway done and I can actually visualize this being complete and, and going, ooh, now, nah, okay, I see how this is gonna happen. This is the sawmill and inside is where all my visions become reality. Whether it's a wood framing, windows, or even items that are turned on a lathe, they're all fabricated here. John is a retired engineering executive, and he has the skills to make almost anything. This phone was made by hand, and it really works. Maggie, get off the party line. And this mailbox is an exact replica of one from the late 1800s. What makes me proud of my dad when I see this come together is the fact that he can actually fabricate this stuff just from either memory or he'll go somewhere and he'll go, oh, I think I can make that. And sure enough, he pulls out his sketch pad and a week later, it's there. He just goes down in his workshop and does it. This is the general store. The amount of detail required here uh, was very demanding because I wanted it to be special. Things like the signs here, pickles, four cents a piece, milk was six cents a quart, and eggs were eight cents a dozen. They ain't gonna pass. I even spray the oranges with an orange scent. What's really nice about this is you can walk in. This is really all my pride and joy. I had to do a lot of layout work get all the things that I definitely wanted to have displayed here and fit them in. The bean counter, for instance, the post office was a task, even the fishing equipment here, fabric material. They even had 
the medicines at that time. They did everything. I even have some of the letters in the post office that actually are of that period of time. Hey, want to mail a letter? John's personal touch is all over this basement creation, even on the street addresses of the storefronts. My wife and I got married in 1960, so that's what I put on the sawmill. Then my first daughter came along in 1961, my second one in 1963, my third one in 1965, and then my son came along in 1970. This is my milk wagon. I needed something to cover up the plumbing coming in and out of the house, so I had to hand fabricate this entire wagon in my workshop, and because I don't have a whole lot of room down here, I only made half a wagon. The other half of the wagon is reflected in the mirrors. And what is John working on next? My next challenge is a firebox, and I'll be making it out of wood to simulate metal. This is a basement, and keeping that in mind, I had to design in the storage. So trying to figure that in was a challenge. John found ingenious ways to provide the basement storage that every family needs, including a way to hide the breaker box and even a basement window. I'm very proud of this Main Street. I think it's a great collection of times gone by. I feel I have successfully captured that period of time from 1895 to 1900. However, it's probably about 99% only. That 1% more is probably gonna take me another 30 years. And it's probably time to get to work. Probably time to get back to work? I think he means it. For John Scapes, it's a labor of love. Coming up on Incredible Basements, this fabulous vintage arcade brings back the video games you love to play. Hang on to your quarters. If you have any questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Write us at Incredible Basements, care of HGTV, Box 50970, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37950. Be sure to include your daytime phone number.